This may be my favorite smart glasses of 2025, just released already for 2026. These are the Rainio X3 Pro, probably the most advanced and complete smart glasses you can get right now. While these are the Even G2, the everyday smart glasses with the most glasses for factor. In the past, I compared both of them with the most famous smart glasses of this year, the Meta Ray-Ban Display. But I think they deserve a video about their own. This doesn't want to be a full comparison though, by showing you what makes both so good and different from the rest. And why right now both monochrome and full color display can make sense for different kind of people. So what person are you? Which one will you get? Well, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. So what are these? These are smart glasses. Glasses that give you superpowers, giving you an always-on interface for your AI assistant, navigation, notification from your phone, live translation, news, pics and video in some cases, and even Android applications, making them the perfect companion for your phone, even substituting, in some cases, with a futuristic interface on your face. So as I said, I already talked about both of them on the channel. You can check their reviews out in the description below if you're interested in diving even deeper. And both of them try to appeal to different people in different ways, both excelling at it. In fact, the philosophy of these two is very similar yet very different. Starting with the design, you can tell what Even is trying to do over here. Making smart glasses that will pass as regular glasses everywhere, purposely limiting some features because of privacy and look, and because of that, these are the stealthiest smart glasses you can get right now, by a long shot. Keeping the form factor as small as possible though, come with some cost, this is of course function, as fitting everything for what's the future of XR will be kind of impossible. That's why you're not gonna find audio over here or cameras, and instead of a full colored waveguide display, you will get a monochrome display. Actually too, because this is stereo, it can even give you a sense of depth. And this kind of HUD is perfect for text and the green hue is also perfect for outside use because it gets very, very bright and always very readable. But of course, while they're perfect for text, they lack when it comes to media. So the X3 instead goes in the opposite direction, trying to fit everything you can possible in a pair of glasses in the most discreet way possible. They might not look as stealthy as the G2 while going around. Also due to the camera in the center, but they compensate with every single feature that you can imagine a future pair of smart glasses should have. And to be honest, it's still impressive how much they were able to fit in this small form factor. I mean, this is their previous attempt just one year ago, the X2, and yeah, they seem from two different planets or decades. Here, in fact, you can find a camera to take pictures and videos, even good ones, and have AI to be able to respond even to visual context. So you can look at something, ask what you're looking at, and the AI will respond to you in the conversation. They have two full color display to read text, of course, but also giving you a possibility to watch media and even use applications like Moonlight or TikTok, and even a browser if you want, or whatever you wanna do with a pair of screens stuck to your face. Of course, there are speakers for music and also the AI assistant, calls, media, and the full AR1 chipset from Qualcomm to drive the software and standalone applications, as you can even install Android APKs in here, or even AR apps. At the first sight, so the difference is pretty clear. We're giving you a functional pair of glasses with features right for the time, while the other one giving you a preview of what the future of smart glasses is going to be when this form factor will be able to be reached for this functions. And really, everything starts with the displays. The reality is from that you can really notice what different manufacturers are trying to achieve here. In fact, I'm a big user of the Even G2. And it's clear that having a single monochrome display brings different focus, more utilitarian. Here, the tech is not supposed to get in the way of your life, but it's an addition. If you need to read the script where you can have the teleprompter there, if you want to write a script for something, you can just talk to the assistant and you will see the subtitle in front of you or what you're actually saying. By the way, there's a conversate feature that I absolutely adore. Uh, pretty much you're having a conversation with someone, uh, you're gonna be able to record everything that is gonna 
come up as a transcript directly on the app. And the AI is gonna even show you the most important part of the conversation, give you insight, or even call it out if the person in front of you is saying stuff that is not true. Very useful while watching news nowadays. So yeah, if you're having different meetings, you wanna take notes uh, with the help of AI, or use them in class, this might be the one for it, because no teacher or professor will ever notice that you may be recording the conversation to take notes for the future, or even have some prompts on it. I mean, no one will complain about just wearing glasses if you're not cheating. All of these though still taking in consideration the fact you will have to use the phone for other features and they're not gonna be the all-in-one companion. But for the feature that they actually have, they are great at it. Also, side notes, it turns out that having a monochrome really helps for battery life as well. In fact, these arrived to two days of battery life. I never had the reason to actually have them on for two days as at night you put them in the charging case so uh, they're ready for the day after. But yeah, I can confirm that I never had problems with better life with these glasses. And talking about the only one companion is where the X3 Pro are actually placing themselves and even more. In fact, the full colored WaveGuide displays make this possible because not only you'll be able to have every feature of the single color display, but also start to take all the features that all the different kind of smart glasses on the market have and combine them over here. That's why I consider these the most futuristic smart glasses out there right now that you can wear. The resolution might not be the highest, but the WaveGuides still keep the form factor very compact and make it possible to add the media to the smart glasses equation, something that until yesterday you had to do with the Burbath glasses. They also radio makes, by the way. <laughs> so while bringing the dog, you can have a YouTube video playing in front of you. You can browse the web if you need to, even doom scrolling on TikTok choices. Because with the color screen, you will have the possibility to do so. All of that instead of keeping your phone in front of you, keeping it in your pocket just for the connectivity of it and having your hands free. By the way, at CES 2026, they just unveiled that they're gonna have a eSIM version. So potentially you're not gonna even need the phone anymore for connectivity. It's pretty nice. And if you have some apps that you care about, you can even install them over here via APK. Android apps. For example, I use Moonlight to actually play some games. The resolution is not the highest again, but it's possible. Also, when receiving a message with a picture, gonna be able to preview it here, again, instead of opening it on the phone. Borrowing from the meta glasses, you can take pictures and videos. By the way, with a more natural POV, because the camera is in the center, even if it doesn't look as great from the exterior. And ask AI what you see. Translate a menu in a restaurant from a different language, just looking at it. Having the glasses, being aware of your surrounding. Two full color waveguide displays, by the way, might not give you the best battery life, but for sure they give you all the features possible that you can imagine from a pair of smart glasses from the future. But if you want, there's a Type-C so you can connect them to a battery bank potentially and keep using it for all day, a la Apple Vision Pro mode. You might not be able to leave your phone at home yet. That might not even be the point right now. The idea here is to squeeze as much tech as you can in a small form factor, something that you can bring with you every day. Maybe not all day, but being ready when you need it and you wanna use them. In fact, I will not consider the X3 as a substitute to their, your regular glasses, as they want to be an addition, like a very powerful one to bring when you need them. Instead, the G2 aim for the exact opposite. They might be a bit less powerful, but you can wear them every day, all day, as you will do instead of your regular pair of glasses. Even instead, those screens and features in them. To me though, it's crazy how much this tech actually matured and in 2026, we can already talk about these kind of glasses being a reality. They both have their own niche, they both aim to different kind of people. And I hope this video actually helped you to understand which one would you want to get. Personally, I think that both make real sense that you can't really go wrong. It's just a matter of who you are and what you're looking for. Do you value privacy, stealth interaction? With a more utilitarian use, well, the G2s are for you. Or are you the techie futuristic one? Looking to try already the future of smart glasses? Well the X3 Pro might be the one for you then. Well, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Which one would you actually get? And as always, if you liked the video, like. If you did like the video, like. Subscribe to the channel more of VR Tech. If you love the channel, join the button there. Little further, also the Patreon. Thanks to the Patreons to join the channel, of course. I see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.